Welcome to Prince Edward Island, the nature lover's paradise. The island is awash with beauty from the rich red cliffs of the west coast to the numerous picturesque harbors and the rainbow colored vegetation. Prince Edward Island, or PEI for short, is the smallest province in Canada and is nestled between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. The first leg of our trip was to hug the eastern shore up to the most eastern tip of PEI, appropriately named East Point. About 15 miles northeast on the Kings Byway Scenic Drive is the Cape Bear Lighthouse. This lighthouse is still operational, but it also houses a museum of the Marconi Wireless Station. Our next stop is Charlottetown. In 1864, delegates from what is now Ontario and Quebec joined delegates from the maritime colonies and after five days of discussion they jointly decided to unite all British North American colonies into one confederation called Canada. Just a few steps from Province House is Victoria Row. Much of this early commercial street was destroyed by fires in 1866 and again in 1884. Now it's just a short drive to North Cape. Long before reaching North Cape, you see the windmills waving to the clouds. They are part of the Atlantic Wind Test Site, which is owned by the Canadian federal government and has been operating for more than 20 years. Located on the southern shore of the island, Summerside received its name from Colonel Compton. Summerside was our last stop, and now it's time to say farewell to PEI.